Hey, what's going on, guys? Back where we left off. Class trial part last. Hopefully. I'm guessing we can finish this in 30 minutes. I see. Not just the bamboo sword, but even the sword bag, too. Yeah, dude. But Kane said she's like a ninja. But it's nothing as silly as that. Simply put, only Pekko could have performed this feat. An escape plan befitting of the ultimate swordswoman. Even so, how disappointing. You'd only let me work with you. You would have been in a greater place. No, oh, you just back off. Uh, um, is it true? Did you really kill Fukino? <laughs> I don't know why that was funny. Uh, ho hold on, you're just making assumptions. You were, I think you're an accomplice. You, you don't have any proof. I won't accept this unless there's proof. Got it, you bastard. It's fine. Huh? I said it's fine. Saying anything more would just be an exercise in futility. She admitted that she's not used to it, man. Among flowers, the cherry blossom. Among men, the samurai. I commend your decisiveness. Are they gonna throw this in another direction? Very well. If you admit it, this ends now. Let's cast our votes. Get, see, Gundam Tanaka doesn't have an alibi. Gundam Tanaka does not have an alibi, so they could throw it in Gundam Tanaka's direction. Wait. Hurry up and vote. Uh, hold on. Let me confirm one thing first. If they throw it at Gundam. They, they could throw it at Gundam because he has literally nothing. He has nothing to say. Um, yeah. Can it wait until after the voting? This is important and it relates to the voting. It's about Pekko's motive. That's what I was saying. It's like, why? Why would Pekko? No motive. In the end? You had no connection to the events depicted in Twilight Syndrome murder case, right? Then, why did you kill Makiru? Hmm. So it's about that. Let's see. If I must answer that question, I must say it was for the sake of justice. Okay. Justice? Okay. In order Let's see. to protect the justice of this world. Are you the? Are you the? Is this? Is this? <laughs> are you? Are you the? Are you the justice serial killer? I do not sully my hands. Are you the traitor? Are you? <laughs> oh no! There is only one reason I kill. For the sake of protecting justice. What are you saying? Are you actually not an ultimate swordsman? Justice is what makes humans human. It's a virtue that human beings should be proud of. Justice is the eternal sun and the enduring moon. The Hello! Earth to Pekko! If justice ever disappeared from this world, the world would immediately freeze and people's smiles would vanish. I will not allow that. It, it's fine, just stop it! Justice must always be there to guide us, to shine bright above our this heads. This is exactly what happened with Nagata, though. Throw it at Gundam. I'm telling you to stop it! So I must fight. I must continue to fight to protect justice. Are you Fuhiko's, like, younger sister? This, could she be? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the heart of malevolent evil. Justice complete! Huh. The center of justice that is pierced by justice. The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky. That would be me. Sparkling justice! That face, though. Now then, let's execute justice! 
Target other criminals. This mask is the dividing line. She's a little forcing it. She's she's forcing it a little. Um. Hmm. Just like various items, the sun is revered because it like justice should also be the same. These faces, though. I, I don't get it, but but this is becoming really crazy. I must not allow even one shadow. Evil must be eliminated immediately. No matter what, I must not overlook evil. Uh -huh. Evil? Are you saying Mahiru is... Yeah, that's a, that's a good question. If you knew about that incident, then you must have played the game. Am I right? Uh... And because of that, I was able to find the killer's accomplice hiding on this island like a sewer rat. Uh... Then, the reason you killed Mahiru was... I uh, got it. I got it. There's the reason right there. Okay, good. To protect justice, of course. <laughs> but... In order to protect faces. justice, I have become its merciless sword and executed justice. Interesting. Holy crap! She's such a stereotypical psychopath! <laughs> She's so gross! Echo, is this my true? I, <laughs> I have already forgotten who I am. It just shows my determination. My determination to protect by throwing away what's most important. My, my question is, what's Fuhu gonna do? I'm willing to become anybody to shower this world with justice. <laughs> oh, I can't stand this anymore. Let's just end this farce already. Throw it in another direction, game. Let's go over this incident one more time and then let's end this. All right, let's do it. Alright, so Pekko's the killer. Here's everything that happened in this Finally. case. Finally. Okay, so that took like what, 10 minutes? The incident began this morning. We'll probably just end at the end of the class trial you. today. Because I gotta go to bed. I've been up playing this pretty much this fourth play session for a while. Mahiru most likely played Twilight Syndrome Murder Case, the video game provided to us as the mode. She probably wanted to discuss it with someone else who also appeared in the game as a character. Hyoko accepted Mahiru's invitation, and they promised to have a more detailed conversation about it later. However, someone else overheard their exchange. The killer. The killer eavesdropped on their conversation and used their promise to devise a specific murder plan. Yes. By preparing a specific item, they plan to manipulate the two's actions. That item was the letters. 
They sent fake letters to both Mahiru and Hyoko. The letter Mahiru received told her to come to the beach house at 2.30 p.m. Yep. And the letter Hyoko received told her to come to the beach house at exactly 2 p.m. By providing different times, the killer was able to lure them to the beach house separately. Yep. Hyoko totally trusted that letter. Showed up at the beach house at 2 p.m., just like it said. Mm -hmm. And was drugged into unconsciousness by the killer lying in wait. After putting Hyoko to sleep, the mm -hmm. killer immediately hid her inside the closet so they could frame her as the killer later. Yes. At 2.30 p.m., Mahiru arrived at the beach house. She was completely unaware that she had been targeted for murder. Approaching her from behind, the killer struck the defenseless Mahiru with a specific weapon, the metal bat that was left at the scene of the crime. The bat was brought down onto the back of Mahiru's head, and with that, she took her last breath. According to Mikan's autopsy, Mahiru died instantly, so she probably never knew who killed her. With that, yes. the killer achieved their goal of killing Mahiru and began to tamper with the crime scene. They dragged Mahiru's body so that it blocked the door leading to the road. Also, the mask found at the scene of the crime was something the killer personally left. I'm not really sure why. My guess is it's something similar to a calling card. That's how the crime scene we discovered was created. Yes. Yeah. However, by moving Mahiru's body, the killer got blood splatter on them. Plus, the shower room had no water because it was out of order, so they couldn't wash it off. But the killer expected something like that to happen. Instead of the shower, the killer used something else to wash the blood off their body. Yes. They used plastic water bottles that were in... Yep, yep. We can assume they carried the bottles to the shower room before the sequence of events had happened. In place of showering, they washed the blood off their body with water bottles instead. Yes, they However, did. they had no choice but to dispose of the empty bottles in the beach house's trash can. Littering is against the rules, and it would have taken too much time to throw them away somewhere else. After the killer washed off the blood, they hid in a specific spot inside the closet Hyoko was in. The killer hid inside the surfboard case that they had already emptied beforehand. After some time had passed, the sleeping drug used on Hyoko wore off and she woke up. I can imagine how badly Hyoko must have panicked when she came out of the closet. I mean, she made plans to see Mahiru, who lay dead right in front of her. From the shock and panic of being considered a murder suspect, Hyoko fled from the beach house. Because of that, she left footprints in the sand. Everything was a trap set by the killer to frame her. After Hyoko left, yep, yep. the killer finally came out of the surfboard case. I was kind of on top of this one. And Despite how long it took me to do one, like to one or two of them, I was Hyoko. pretty on top of like the whole Ironically, Pecos murder that thing. Gummy is what I, I, I came to that conclusion pretty Hyoko. early, I think. Uh, unlike the last one, finally, where I didn't the have any idea this had to remove until like until it like started leading up they to it. They couldn't risk leaving their footprints in the sand, so they escaped the beach house using a different route. The small window in the shower room. Like when the class trial started, I was like, it's probably Peck. I don't know if it was when it started, but like after the the Fihuko and uh, what's it, what's her name However, started arguing. That I was window like, it's was Peck. rather high up and can't be reached easily. My question is why is Fuhiko all with up in arms about this? Are you so quick to judge what's her name and so not quick to judge Pekka? The killer took the bamboo sword out of its bag, tied the bag to the sword's handle, and used the sword as a step stool to reach the small window while holding the sword bag in their hand. Mm. As long as they're able to reach the window, all they had to do was pull the bag to retrieve the sword. And so the killer left the beach house and appeared before us as if nothing had happened. But their wet hair and swimsuit didn't dry right away. There also weren't any towels at the beach house. So when the killer met up with us, 
They said they had been swimming for a while as an excuse. So how about it? This is the truth behind the incident you caused. Isn't that right, Peko Peko Yama? <laughs> the poser. Alright, game over, Let's trial see. number two. And what of it? She's like, totally cool with it. Yeah. I haven't done anything to be ashamed of. What are you saying? You killed Mahiru! Yeah, I mean, it sucks, but we, at least we found her, so we don't have to all die. Wrong! I punished evil in the name of justice! That's no reason to condemn me. Whatever! Let's hurry up and vote so we can freaking kill this weird, crazy bitch! Yes! There's no way you can kill me. Justice can never be killed. You should all know that as well. What are you saying? To protect what's most important to you. You must be prepared to throw away something equally important. Understand? Sure. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. The night shall be direct. Justice must carry on in order to keep justice. To keep me alive. You all must give up your lives. <laughs> Thank you, Mika. Are you serious? <laughs> Saying what everybody's thinking. It's not serious. It's justice. If I fall here, who will come back the evil from this now. world? Now, follow your hearts of justice that reside within you all, and save my life to protect you. Do you want down? Get dizzy. Hurry and carry on justice. This face right now. What is that face? Give me a break. Who's gonna die for you? If we let Peko go, we're all gonna get killed! For the sake of grand justice, a few sacrifices are unavoidable. <laughs> sacrifices? <laughs> Don't worry. The justice that you give your life to protect will never go to waste. <laughs> like that, you know, can't stand her anymore. Let's vote already and execute her! Um, however, before we do that... You can't swing it. Didn't we just do the closing one? I'm awake! Ah, he finally woke up! I've heard your story! Well, I wasn't listening, but who cared? Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? So what is what is what's your name? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! I'm So I wonder why Fukiko is all up in arms in the family. They didn't really explain that. Pardon me, can we please have a little more time? Okay. Okay. You can't, you can't just... Um, pardon me, can we have a little bit more time? Please let us continue our discussion. I, I knew there were some unanswered questions. I was so ready to be done. I was so ready. It was like complete. You did the ending case. Everything was fine. Now we have a problem. What is this, Sonya? Never mind. Continue our discussion? But isn't the voting over? Yes, but I cannot help but feel strange. Something about this is definitely it's strange. Definitely strange. I agree. Because Fihiko is being a little bit... Um, He's being a little bit defensive. Strange? What do you mean? There's no doubt that Peko is the killer. You never know with this that game. That is true. Gundam Tanaka has no alibi. He was he was literally nothing. He is nothing. You see, he goes being defensive. As a serial killer enthusiast, you're wondering if Peko is really sparkling justice. Am I right? Hey, this Sonya isn't a serial killer enthusiast. She just has a little more passion Jeez. about them than most. Dude, Nagato's Nagato's on there with the realizations. That makes her an enthusiast. Honestly, it felt strange to me too. I mean, there's a distinct difference between what we know about sparkling justice and Petco, right? Distinct difference? 
Why the fuck are people admitting to murder and then not being the murderer? Sonya like, what the fuck? Justice like this. That's how this game gets you, right? It, they're like, I'm the murderer. I did this. I murdered. Sparkling justice. Blah, blah, blah. And they didn't do it. So next person, I'm just not going to believe them. Next time someone says it doesn't matter. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me! Sparkling Justice! Now the Sparkling Justice is Chris Reeves. No, no, Zero Killer has a catchphrase? See, so that's what it was. I've got a uh, nationality, nationality special ability, nationality. Because Japanese. That's right. No. What so the article was written in their native language, so I tried to. Tra if she had a translator, that means it wasn't written in English, right? Huh? So who's the killer fucking yes, now? The magazine I read was written in Spanish. Fucking the game was like, you're done. Oh, you did the closing argument. Oh. So, the sparkling justice's catchphrase was no doubt written in Spanish as well. Okay. Which means the journalist and sparkling justice are both from Spain? What? <sighs> fucking. Fucking shit. What are you, you have to be joking with me. You have to be joking with me. You gotta be joking with me. Heko, you're not sparkling justice. There's no way that's possible. Okay, but she still killed the person. Or, if you insist that you're sparkling justice, can you try saying that catchphrase in Spanish? Will you be able to do that? Hmm. It appears that the time has come for this mask to come off. However, that's perfectly fine. It's no longer necessary. And even if you find out now, it's too late for you all to do anything about it. My duty has already been finished. Fuck you, Pekka. My duty as a tool has already been completed in full. So it was Fika. Damn. Uh huh? Looks like she's back to normal? That mask has fulfilled its purpose. Just as I have. What do you mean? Fulfilled its purpose? Too late? What are you getting at? Now that you've already cast your votes, is what it means. So what the fuck happens here? Hey! Be clearer! We're asking you what your purpose was! I have no purpose. I am just a mere tool. T tool? What do you mean? She called herself a tool. Which means someone else used her then? <laughs> of course. A tool cannot do anything on its own. I see. You finally understand. Well, I did have a sneaking suspicion all along. What do you mean? I mean, besides Peko and Kyoko, Someone else was also at the beach house. That's true. Oh, uh, Nagato, you're bringing out the toughers. You're bringing out the tough questions. We've already voted, though. So what, what the fuck is gonna happen? Someone else? There is proof that establishes that fact. Try to remember it. Proof that one more person was... Body of Discovery announcement? I see! Discovery announcement? Yep, that's right. I mean, didn't Monokuma say so earlier? Three people, including the killer, or not? Gee, it's fine. What we're saying, it does include the killer this time. Okay, all right. That announcement is made when at least three people discover a body. Yes. And in this particular case, the killer, Pekko, is not one of those three. If that's the case, it would mean only Hyoko and Kazuichi discovered the body, but... No, 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 wait. No, so, okay. 
Pekko is still the killer. She still killed. That leaves us one person short. It's few few you go. Few you go. So that means there was plus the fact that Monokuma tried to hide that truth from us by being flexible with his own rules. That's such a vital clue that it could alter the outcome of the trial. Like an accomplice, for example. No. It's not it. Huh? Am I wrong? What the fuck is happening? I honestly don't yes. know anymore. From your basic way of thinking about it, you are wrong. Didn't I tell you? I'm just a tool. I'm just a tool. That means I'm just a simple tool to be used by that person. Therefore, that person would have the strongest motive out of anybody else here, right? But he's not the one, she's, Pekko's still the one that murdered. So it doesn't matter if it's Fuyuko that has the... But even if it's the motive, it's just a game, right? There's no reason to believe it's even true. Even, even though we still voted off the correct person, because Pekko's the one that murdered somebody, so it doesn't matter. Would you call a game like that a strong motive? Um I'm guessing that it's the um that it's the it's this photo. Okay, uh, the metal band. Uh, the sense of proof. Okay, misunderstanding. What is it? 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 Definitely occurred in real life. There's overwhelming proof of that, too. I can prove it with this. Boom, son. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't think it was necessary to confirm yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It didn't I have anything known. to yeah, do yeah, with yeah. Mahiru's murder. But that I could have known. There's no doubt that game is based on actual events. That much is clear if you saw the ending prize. The photos awarded for beating the game are not actual in-game screenshots. They're all actual photos with the surrounding scenery cropped out. You knew all along, Fuyuhiko. Didn't you? You knew whether or not the first victim in the game was actually your little sister. Because whoever beat the game first received the ending prize. Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw that. It doesn't matter that we voted right? the right person. The person who received the ending prize it was you, wasn't it? It's just this is just this is just nonsense. If right you here. were shown a photograph of your sister's dead body, you'd have no choice but to believe it. Even so, you wanted to deny the truth. I'm so ready to That's end this trial. That's why you sent those photos it's, it's, to Mahiru I'm ready to, to end the trial it. right now. Hey! Why are we talking about Fuyuhiko? Who cares? I'm with Sayanji on this. Because Paco is the killer, right? But he already voted. That's why I told you. You're all too late. As I said before, I had no motive for killing Mahi. No reason to kill him. Not even the will to I was simply used as a tool. As long as I am a tool, I cannot defy my orders. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Can anyone give me a simpler explanation? Yeah, someone? It means I'm not the killer. What the fuck? How? The true killer, who used me as their weapon to kill Mahiru Koizumi, was Fuyuhiko Kuzuryu. No, you're, 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 you're a fucking lunatic. What? 
You, we voted Pekko off, and you were correct. So, Pekko, peace. I see. That's what you were aiming for all along. No. I have no aim. But my young master does. My young master planned this from the start. Young master? That is the truth of this game. Unless you're a fucking robot, you make no sense. I'm sure you realize it by now. But it's too late. Why the fuck the would we want to undo the vote? That's a problem. If Pego's allegation holds up, that means our vote was incorrect. No. What? In that case, the person who gets to live is just me. No. That's nuts. No matter how that you look sense. at it, that's completely insane. I agree. That's... How would Pego be a tool in the first place? This is, yeah, this doesn't make any sense. You're a person. You killed. Is a legitimate human being. That's what I'm saying. It's not for you to decide. It's for Monokuma. The votes have been cast. All we can do now is wait and see what Monokuma decides. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It makes no sense. Peko is a person. You can't just say, oh, I'm a weapon now. This isn't fucking Soul Eater. This isn't fucking... <laughs> this isn't like... Oh my goodness. She's dead. We gotta be again. I'll take it. We'll get 73 coins out of it, too. So. Hmm, I'm in a bind. And what a bind it is. I guess for now, let's take a quick recess. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Commercial break, huh? Hmm. Alright. Oh, it's green now. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been Tuba Player Negative 8. Yeah, I have to edit this one too, probably. Uh, so I'll probably end it right here. Because uh, it's already 40 minutes uh, without editing, so I can't even imagine where it is with editing. Um, thank you guys for watching. Tuba Player Negative 8. If you guys like the video, like it. If you guys dislike the video, let me know. Uh, we're going to save right here, and I think I'm going to go to my fifth playthrough because i got to go to bed. <laughs> And we'll see how Pekko dies, I guess, in the next episode, because I know she's dead, and if she's not dead, bullshit. Uh, and that would be interesting to where the game goes, because this is only chapter two, and I imagine there's more than just two chapters. I don't know, but the game's been long already. I don't know. I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace out, guys.